Welcome in Le Mans for the start of the second half of the 2016 season of the Porsche GT3 Cup Challenge, Bini Lux. Dylan starts for a new season. Dylan, it's the start of the second half of the season. We go to Le Mans, we go to Le Castellet. New circus for you? Yes, I've never driven in uh, Le Mans. I've been there at uh, Le Mans Classic meeting to drive for a Japanese team. It was a great circuit, a great track. How do you prepare for these uh, new circuits? Well, we start from zero. We take a basic setup because we don't have a setup for those tracks. So we start from uh, zero and then we try to build up. Two races in Le Mans, as always, two 30-minute races. And they drive together with the French Porsche Cup, the drivers from the Porsche GT3 Cup Challenge Benelux. And as you can see, it's a bit wet in Le Mans. Best uh, qualifying driver of the Belgian Cup was Frenchman Alexandre Jouanem. Not surprising, he knows this track, of course. And then a bit further down the order, Dylan Dardale and Roger Grauwels, the three title candidates. So in the top three of the Belgian starting grid, and it's a green flag. And off we go with uh, Mathieu Jaminet, Vincent Beltois leading the pack. But we are focused on the Minilux drivers. Is that another French driver with Alexandre Jouanem trying to uh, make up ground, but then a problem for the 20 car. That's a Pierre Piron from the Mediacom Porsche team, and it's a retirement for him, and it will be a retirement shortly afterwards for Alexandre Jouanem as well. He spins round and he hits his title contestant, Dylan Dardala, as well. So no points for those drivers. Well, Dylan gets the points for ninth place while other drivers take a shortcut on the Dunlop chicane. And here's some contact between the 555 of Julian and Lauer. And the 85 of uh, Thomas Laurent. Laurent can continue. But it's a bit more difficult for Anne Lauer, I think. I don't see where he was going to pass. Laurent there was no way past that blue Porsche. And there he comes, and Lauer retiring. And in the background, another retirement for Yves Noel, one of the B-class drivers of the Benelux Porsche Cup. So retirement for him as well. And then it's the end of that first race with a overall win for Mathieu Jaminet. But the Belgian Benelux Cup, I should say, goes to Roger Graus from Menno van der Grijsparte. And Jurgen van Hover finishes in third. Great results for those drivers in difficult conditions. Here we take another look at that first Le Mans race of the Porsche GT3 Cup Challenge Winnie Lux. Grauwel wins it from Van der Kreispaard and Dan van Hover. John de Wilde in fourth. And Jorn Schmidtstade in fifth. So Roger Grauwel takes the Winners' Cup. But there's still another race in Le Mans. And that's in wet conditions as well. Menno van der Kreispaard is thinking about putting on slicks or rain tyres. It's very wet, it's very hot as well. So what will be the choice for the tyres? And bad luck for Van der Grijsparte. He spins off in the warming up lap and that's the end of his race. He's the 17 car of Pierre-Yves Park, one of the speed lover Porsches. And he starts right behind Yves Noel in that white Porsche with a number six. Not a safety car start due to the wet conditions. So one lap of the Bugatti circuit and then the flag will be green and we can get on the way as well. It's again uh, Juan M who has the best starting position in the Benelux Porsche Cup. Here we go, green flag, Jaminet leading again. Overall from Laurent and Denada. Keep an eye on uh, Alexander Juan M because he started on rain tyres and in these early conditions the track is still very wet. And you might get an advantage. There he is with the number 47 Porsche getting to the front. Fighting hard. Samuel Toiz in the 7 Santelac Porsche gains a place there and then there's trouble for Juanem. he gets a drive through penalty and trouble for Beltoise as well another safety car intervention and Juanem has a radio problem he doesn't get the message that he has to do a drive through and he's penalized for that of course with a black flag and that means that Dylan Dertale is now leading the Porsche GT3 Cup Challenge Benelux rankings. 
There he is with the 99 car. He has to make up a lot of ground, of course, after his uh, mishap in the first race of the Le Mans weekend. Behind him is uh, Roger Graal, was the winners of the first race, fighting hard with Pierre Piron, well at ease in these uh, difficult conditions. But leading the Benelux rankings is still Dylan der Dale in the Belgium racing, racing Porsche. Might score some good points here, the Belgian. Has a good advantage, is uh, running in the top eight overall as well. And as you can see, the track is drying. End of the race, overall win for Mathieu Jaminet from Laurent and Denarja. And good points for Dylan Derdale in eight overall and best of the Porsche GT3 Cup Challenge Benelux drivers. Drivers are greeted by the officials, by the marshals. And here's the results of the Benelux Porsche Cup. The Dalla wins it from Graus and Piron with uh, Rakoff in fourth and John De Wilde in fifth. So the cup for Dylan De Dalla, but it's Roger Graus who leaves Le Mans as the new Benelux standings leader. Off to Zandvoorden for the penultimate round of the Porsche GT3 Cup Challenge Benelux 2016. Two races of 30 minutes as well here in the circuit of the Dunes. Leading the championship is Roger Growls who scored points in every single one of the eight rounds. And he will try to do the same here of course at his home track here in Zandvoort. Roger Growls driving the number three Porsche. Roger, the penultimate round of the Porsche GT3 Cup Challenge. You're leading the championship. It's between you and Dylan Der Dale. Yes, it's very exciting. Um, we've, we've just talked about it. Well, we've talked about it for the last couple of weeks. And I've, as you said, I've scored points in every single one of the races and uh, almost tried to finish on the podium thinking of the championship. And everything worked well. Now qualifying for the first race didn't go very well. What happened? Well, I, I don't have an explanation. And I was trying to follow uh, Kuhn Waters or, or Dylan to get a good time. But uh, one way or another, I didn't manage to get into the rhythm. So... Um, no, I try to forget about it and think about the races now. Yeah. On pole of the first of two races, the French youngster Alexandre Jouanem. Alexandre on pole pour la première. Alexandre pole position for the first race. Good qualifying then. Yes, qualifying uh, went very well. The, it's a, a good car. We found a lot of speed and now we will try to uh, convert this into a good result. Kun, you're six on the grid. Uh, how was qualifying? Well, not good. Six is not uh, good enough. I think I will have to get um, a very good start. I, I was finding it difficult to find a good rhythm. Two second qualifying was a lot better. Uh, so the race for tomorrow, that looks well. But here I have, will have to good start, or otherwise it's um, rubbish. Start of the race then with Roger Growls from ninth on the grid. And look to the right of your picture. There's the Porsche of Paul Set Alexander Jouanem hitting the wall hard. He did not get off the line very well. He was hit by another car and he was pushed into the wall. And that's the end of his weekend immediately. Safety car, of course, to uh, clean the track, to remove all the debris on the tracks. It's uh, Jürgen van Hover now leading from uh, Menno van de Grijspaarde after that crash of Juanem. We start then with uh, Dylan der Dale trying to pass Kuhn Waters. The end of the straight, Tarzan corner. Waters holds the position. Very close uh, fighting there in the Porsche GT3 Cup Challenge Benelux and Walters even gained the spot. Small mistake there by Stefan Rekop. And he's now between uh, Walters and Rdale. Rdale now trying to overtake uh, Rekop. Off to the Hugenholz Bocht. Oh, and a small mistake again from the German. Position gained from Rdale. Back to chasing uh, 
the waters now. Here a nice fight between Oskamp, Fabri, Roger Grauls tries to gig up with the Dahl of course as well. He has a nine point lead in the championship. Oh and there's a spinner. That's one position gained for Grauls in the number three car. And here Grauls is uh, behind uh, John Schmidt-Stader in the 12th Porsche. Finds it difficult to get past. Here he is. Can he make it? Oh, this contact between the two cars. Grauls cuts the chicane. Comes back on. And is that an apology or a thank you? Into the penultimate corner and Grauls lets the other Porsche back to be sure he doesn't get a penalty for cutting the chicane. Even well having a good fight and it's Jurgi van Over who crosses the line at first from Menno van der Grijsparde and Dylan der Dale. Good win for Van Over. Well, apparently Joan M left the, the pit limiter on at the start so uh, his car was limited to uh, 60 kilometers an hour. And once the car hits that speed, he just blocks and a Joan M also went to the right, so I couldn't avoid it. I hit him. Fortunately, I had no damage. He did, unfortunately. So that was happened. And Van der Grijspaar, the second. It was not so good. I didn't have a good start, so um, I'm very happy. What happened at the start? With me, uh, well, the, the refs just dropped. I didn't get away from the line. Joan M, I can't tell because I was only focused on myself. I just went, he went to the right, so that's not good. But then there was a penalty for 10 seconds for uh, Van Hover and Van der Grijspaarde for overtaking the safety car too early. So the win went to the Dale from Koen Wouters and Van Hover Van der Grijspaarde fourth and Grauls in fifth. Dylan, you crossed the line in third, but you still got a win. Yes, and the start was uh, was very exciting. I saw uh, Juan M go to the right and come back into the pack. I thought we were all going to crash, but um, we still made it. And then I, I was in sixth at the end of the first lap. I had a good fight with uh, with Kuhn. I passed him in the penultimate corner and then he repassed me immediately. And two laps later, I overtook him on the same spot and I defended my position. It's the end of the first part. See you after the break. Welcome back in Zandvoort for the Porsche GT3 Cup Challenge Winlux 2016. We talked to two newcomers in the championship, uh, Stefan Rekhoff and Jon Schmidt-Stade. So Stefan, you're uh, competing in the Porsche Cup Benelux. How is it in this championship for you? Uh, the beginning was quite different to what we did before. We did long distance races, um, but now it's getting better and better. And how are you doing in the championship? I think I'm fourth overall, so um, might um, get a little better still, um, but I missed one race, so that cost me a lot. <laughs> and for you, Jon, how is it going for you? Uh, it's really a new experience uh, for the sprint races, first time in my life uh, doing sprint races. We have done um, endurance races for f 15 years, but uh, we're improving and getting better and better. And um, it's going to be the first season for us to learn and I think uh, we're going to be prepared very good for next year. And of course you are two friends competing in, against each other, how is this? Yeah, well, uh, it's, it's a very nice uh, championships and competition and uh, we know each other very well and uh, normally we, we are driving on the same level and there are some races um, I'm ahead and some races he is and Sanford today he is uh, I, I think a little bit um, forward. Kuhn Waters is on pole for the second race. Today it should be better than yesterday if I have a good start and I'll try to uh, control the tires but a lot will depend uh, on that young man behind me. That young man behind uh, Waters is, of course, Dylan der Dahl. And now uh, on points equal with uh, Roger Grauls in the standings. But he will try to take the lead in the championship. Good start from Waters and der Dahl. A bit lesser start from Rekhoff. And Grauls is up to third immediately. Who will get into the Tarzan corner first? It's der Dahl on the inside. But Waters is on the outside. Takes a lot more speed into the corner. And he holds on to the lead from der Dahl. I think, yes, it's Walter still leading in the 14 Porsche. 
from der Dale. And then it's Roger Growls, so the two title candidates in second and third. Pierre Piron trying to gain ground as does uh, Van der Grijsparde. And here, oh, that's Lida Kuhnwouters going off in the Huguenot's corner in the second lap only of this race. How unfortunate for Wouters. He was leading the race, and that's a safety car. And now it's uh, Derdale leading. From uh, Roger Graus in second. At the restart, Derdale gains an advantage quite early from Growls. Then it's Rekop and then it's uh, Piron. Good find between Noel and Jarrell Scan as well in the 269 Porsche. Growls hanging on to second and Rekop to third, but he's under pressure from uh, Pierre Piron. And then a crash between the two Turkish drivers. I think is that Jarrell Scan and Cengiz Ugujan. Coming on to the straight, they both crashed, and that's another safety car, of course. The whole pack bunched up again. And at the restart, Davdala immediately gets an advantage. Grau is still in second, but Piron now has the opportunity to overtake Rekop. Right now, between uh, Yves Noel and Hans Fabri, the Dutchman. For the moment, Noel is hanging on to his position. Oh, but that's a mistake by Noel. Can he keep it on the track? Yes, he can. Oh, but he loses control and they both hit. That was very unfortunate. Noel looked like he would hold on to the car, but then he had Hans Fabri and they're now both out of the race. And that's a lot of damage to the car, a lot of debris on track. That's another safety car, of course. And there is not a lot of time left in this 30-minute race. As you can see, it's only five minutes to go. I'm afraid the safety car will last until the end. And we're in the last lap now. Hinterdale leading from Graus. Piron has taken third away from uh, Rekop. And that's the order in which they will cross the line. Green flag for the last sprint. And it's Dardala who takes it, and he takes the win in the championship, the lead in the championship as well from Graus and Piron. Here, Rekop in fourth. So Dardala winning it from Graus, then Piron, Rekop in fourth, and Menno van der Grijspaard crosses the line in fifth. A happy winner, Dylan Dardala. Until weekend, said, well, what We've been suffering from understeer for the whole weekend. I had a good car in qualifying, but then something changed and couldn't get the setup right. I was uh, battling with Kuhn here in this race, and then, then he went off. A bit unfortunate, because it would have been a nice race. Now it was uh, a bit easier, I have to think of the championship. Roger Graus now in second. I was uh, looking at what happened uh, behind me. I was thinking of the championship, uh, but I'm finding it's a 25-year-old and I'm twice his age. The problem was that I had a little um, flat spot with uh, the second restart. So I was uh, very happy that, uh, that there was a, a third a safety car because I was a bit uh, nervous about that. And then I just had to finish and take the points. Only three points now between Dardala and Graus with one meeting to go in 2016. And that meeting is in Le Castellet in the south of France. The Porsche Bini Lux Cup again racing with the French Porsche Cup. So lots of cars on this uh, sunny circuit in the month of October. It's Alexandre Jouanem who has taken the Bini Lux pole position from uh, Dylan de Dale. As always a hectic start when you have this many Porsches at the start of a sprint race 30 minutes long. Good start from both Juanem and Rdale. Some people hitting trouble early on. Spinning around, but everybody is avoiding contact. It's looking good for uh, Rdale. A bit less so for uh, Roger Grauwels. He's only three points behind Rdale in the standings. Here he is, Grauwels. Finding difficulties to get into the rhythm. Jürgen Schmidt started having a good race, fighting for a top five position behind Joanem and Derdale. Menno van der Grijsparde 
fighting to get into that top five as well. Not easy trying to fight your own fight when the French drivers are fighting theirs as well. Just ask Dylan Derdale. Trying to keep out of trouble. Knows that if he finishes in front of uh, Roshi Kraus that he can take the title, the Binilax title. And for the moment all is looking good for him. Here a small problem, all contact that was. Stefan Rekov spun round. Losing some positions but he can continue. Dylan Drzala still in second behind uh, Juanem. The overall win goes to Jaminet, but it's Alexandre Jouanem who takes the Benelux win. After some unfortunate races, a good win for the Frenchman. And Rdala takes an important second place with uh, Graouls finishing in ninth. So Jouanem wins it from Dylan Rdala. Pierre Prino in third, Jorn Schmidtstad in fourth and Kuhn Waters in fifth. Jouanem on the middle step of the podium with Rdala and Piron alongside. Second race in La Castellet, final race of the 2016 season. Again, Juanem takes the point for the pole position. He still has a shot at third place in the championship standings. And it's all looking good for Dardala because he can start from second again. He's a long way in front of Graus, who has a bit difficulties in finding the rhythm. But then Krauss is leading the gentleman category as well, so maybe he's focusing on that one. Pierre Piron had a good start. Got ahead of uh, Dylan Dardale. Dardale not taking any risks. Oh, there, yeah, a lock up, and I think Dardale gains a position there. A spinner. Avoiding all contact. Final corner of the Paul Ricard track. Always a danger to spin your car around. Good race, meanwhile, by John de Wilde in the 37 car. Kral was here fighting with uh, Van der Greesbare de Wilde, who took the start from uh, the pit lane. Break up here in the 3-3-3. Just outside the top five. Oh, and retirement for Jörn Schmidt-Stade. Not a good way to finish the season. We see the boat of the German drivers. We'll see them back next year, hopefully. The Dahl is having everything under control and we're near the finish of the race. Here's uh, the overall leader, French Cup driver Mathieu Jaminet, who takes the win. But the Benelux Cup win goes to Juanem again. Means the Frenchman is third in the championship. With the new 2016 Benelux Porsche GT3 Cup challenge champion is Dylan Dahl in the Belgium racing Porsche. Rojonem wins it from Dardala de Wilde, starting from pit lane, finished in third from Koen Wouters and Van de Grijsbaarde. So Dardala happy with the title. Yeah, it's really cool. Uh, last year we take also the battle with uh, the championship with uh, Peter Hovenaars. So I'm very proud to take his position this year and I hope to see him back next year in our team. Thanks a lot, congratulations. Okay, very happy, Dylan Dardale, Alexander Jonem takes two wins in the final weekend, giving him third in the final standings, as you can see here, Dardale wins it, 25 points ahead of Graus, Jonem in third, then Pierre Pirou in fifth, and John de Wilde in fifth. So that was it for the 2016 Porsche GT3 Cup Challenge Benelux, we had six powerful and exciting weekends, I hope we can see you all next year.